Hi everyone, so this afternoon and actually for the next few weeks until the end of term, your task for DT is to make a model of a Tudor house. So for this you will need to use your design sheet that we did um, yesterday and also the sheet that you labelled um, the key features of a Tudor house on because you need to make sure that these key features are present in your finished model. Um, you need to be able to join materials together in appropriate ways so you might use glue, um, you might use folds perhaps to join the bits together and you will need to strengthen the materials and make them more stable. So as I've just said, you'll need to have your design sheet to hand and the sheet where you labelled the key features of a Tudor house. Um, but if you can't remember those or you don't have them available, I've popped a couple of the website addresses on there so that you can have a look as a reminder to remind yourselves of those key features. You're going to need some resources. Um, if we were in school, we would usually ask you to bring in a cereal box because that's an ideal size for a model Tudor house. But you can use anything you like. Um, you might need some paint, perhaps, because remember, Tudor houses are um, white and you can see the black or the um, brown beams. You might need some glue to join bits together. You'll definitely need some scissors to cut out windows or to cut out shapes of certain parts of your house. Um, I had a look on Google. These are some lovely um, finished products that other people have made. Um, they are quite ambitious. I'm not sure I can make anything as good as these, um, but that is kind of what you're aiming for. You can see in each of these designs that they've got all those key features. There's a steep roof. You can see the chimneys. You can see the jetty, the beams, the colours are correct. Um, but you can add your own touches to it. I like um, the one with the flames in. Uh, one year when we did it before, one of the children had used tissue paper, coloured tissue paper to represent the flames and they'd set up an electrical circuit inside with a light bulb to make it look like the house was on fire. So any creativity that you want to bring to it, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, like I say, you've got until the end of term to do this. We would love to see photos and in the last week of term, we will send out um, a notice and hopefully by that point you'll be allowed to bring your houses in for us to evaluate. Um, but please do send in photos of the process. We'd love to see what you're getting up to. Thank you.